All right, the first modification or repair that I did, don't mind this wiring. I'm still trying to figure out why there's things that aren't plugged in. This one was separated. I don't know what that does, but I reattached it. This, I think, is maybe like a, um, a reverse light. A reverse light turns on or something. Same with this one, except this one doesn't engage that at all, so I don't know. So that when I got this, this was loose right here, and then this like return spring arm on the bottom right there was just off on the back. And that's what um, allows these to return to center. This one didn't have it, so it was just loose. So I took that back up. Tighten that down, and then um, so per spec, the distance between the center of this and then the center of the other one should be 5.4 inches. This one should be 15 inches. So from the center of this joint to the center of the other joint, 15 inches, 5.4 inches. That will ensure that um, the machine tracks straight when you push both levers forward. Mine was completely loose and not adjusted, so it was tracking to the left a little bit. And then this thing missing in the bottom caused it to like bounce out of control sometimes. So it looks like the air filter was changed in 2000, so 20 years on the air filter. Um, this luckily looks like it was replaced at some point. Whoops, that's the seat. <clears throat> um, Oil filter, I think this is the oil filter. Not promising because it looks original. And there's some rust on it. And then the fuel filter is back, way back there on top you can get from the engine hood. Looks like it's a Fram, I believe. So that's been replaced. So we're going to replace all the filters. The other thing I noticed is, if you can see, it's leaking from this plate. So I don't know if there's a gasket behind this plate here, but it looks like all the, it's hard to see with no light, but you see all that black gunk? It stops at the bottom of the plate. There's nothing above it. So I'll figure out what's under there, either gasket material or, you know, silicone RTV or whatever, like right stuff. That looks easy enough to replace and seal up. And other than that, yeah, like I said, like there's some connectors that are just not hooked up anything. I don't understand. There's one there. There's one here, which I think might be the indicator, the rear turn signals, which it doesn't have. There's a single wire here, which could be like a low oil pressure gauge or something, or low oil warning. I don't know. I'll have to look. But for whatever reason, yeah, there's just a lot of loose wires. And uh, so the other issue with this machine that I found is, let me get the seat down. I actually had to re-weld these flanges, or these hinges, and this one actually broke, so that's not good. There was one on the engine lid that I had to re-weld there, that's holding. And this I'm going to have to redo again. Um, so the problem this thing had, when you turn the key to on here, that you'll see watch this there's nothing it's intermittent so the first problem was back here I had to put some super lube on the connector from the fuse box and then you see here nothing problem two is down here these connectors are just need to be reseated or cleaned out or put some super lube on there and lubricate the metal pins. That bugged me for a while. I was pretty irritated. I couldn't figure out why the thing wouldn't turn on, but that's that. And um, so it looks like you're supposed to be able to turn this left to have the glow plug activate. I don't know why, but it looks like they put a button here. So when you turn it to on, you hold this down, turn the glow plug, plugs. And then let go and start it. So I don't know. I haven't seen um, this works all right. 
I don't know what this is. It's a bulb that's just sitting here. I don't know if this is supposed to be behind here and lighting stuff up like the gauges. But it's just a light. I don't know. I haven't seen a gauge panel other than mine, so I don't know what this is supposed to look like. There's something here, too. This little switch. That I don't know what it does. That's the front lights. Uh, hour meter, like I said, it's fairly low hours. The water temp works. Um... Fuel gauge works. These all, these lights all work. The charge light kind of flickers at idle a little bit. Very dimly. I don't know if that's normal or not. But, uh, yeah. That's how this is set up. I mean, it works. You kind of hold this for a little bit and then start it starts up. So, I don't know. Maybe something failed that they just did, did it that way. Or maybe that's supposed to be there. I really don't know. Maybe there's supposed to be a light there instead.